An inverse square law applies in many cases. Uh, for example, the illumination due to a small lamp when light spreads out in straight lines through clear air. Not in fog or muddy water that absorbs the light. Here are three books at so much, twice the distance, three times the distance from a small lamp. The inverse square law is characteristic of anything that spreads out in straight lines without getting lost. I think I can illustrate that with a fable. Suppose a restaurant has the problem of buttering toast and wants to be very modern and do it with a machine. So the proprietor invents a butter gun with melted butter in here which can be squirted out in straight line spray of butter like that. Here's the piece of toast and lines of butter go out and hit it there and there and there and there and butter it all over. Now instead of that, lines might go on and you could put the toast further back at twice the distance, two pieces of toast wide, two toasts high and all together you would put four pieces of toast there to intercept the butter and you'd be half a stick, no, quarter a stick buttering. Inverse square law. At three times the distance, three pieces of toast, three pieces of toast, Altogether, nine pieces of toast, and you would get one-ninth of the buttering economy treatment.